A study in Nature Communications Biology has found that artificial reefs or shipwrecks to you and me are helping many fish species to cope with the rising sea temperatures. It's pretty unusual not to see any fish in and around wrecks, so researchers from Duke University's Marine Lab and NOAA thought to look at these fish and dig a little deeper. Humans have been sinking artificial reefs for a very long time now, mainly through accidents and battle until recently when they've been sinking ships intentionally. Uh, these shipwrecks instantly create a sheltered area for local fish species to rest from currents and hide from predators. By studying some of these new reefs off North Carolina, that's a little bit north of Florida, for people that, you know, don't know states or the states, or, you know, like us Brits, researchers have been monitoring fish species four times a year and found a wide range of tropical fish. As with a lot of real estate, it's all about location with shipwreck proximity to food sources and the Gulf Stream. The complexities of modern shipwrecks make them super popular too, so they appeal to a wide range of species. Another artificial reef system pioneered by Arc Marine has received a rapid innovation grant. These reef cubes are robust interlocking modular systems that designs to restore complex marine environments. Also Lego, it's just called Lego. <laughs> just putting Lego down there. Anyway, this grant will give the team an opportunity to test out their cubes, Lego, um, and hopefully fast track them to pr production because as Professor Lars Johanning from the University of Exeter says, this is a product that has applications around the world and is rich in opportunity. These reef cubes use geopolymers and other low impact materials that produce 70% fewer CO2 emissions and have 60% less environmental impact compared to traditional materials. So instead of just plonking a load of concrete down for coral to stick to, they're making more of an intelligent structures to shelter and optimize reef growth. So with clever planning, if we sink ships and things in key locations, then they can provide valuable shelters for fish species going forward. But have you seen any rare tropical species on wrecks that you didn't expect? You know, like the classic plastic Tesco's bag? I heard that. Well, actually, no, that's no longer a rare species. Don't give me that look, Mark. Don't give me that look. Anyway, more and more usual tropical fish are being spotted further north than usual. Let's have a chat about it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and stay classy scuba divers. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.